hello everyone welcome to this uh, all new lecture of this advanced etfs course so in our earlier uh, previous lectures we have seen uh, how to calculate the effective uh, weight of the joint and how to calculate the joint capacity and also we have cross checked with the uh, etfs calculation now uh, the calculation that we have shown earlier it is as per the uh, uh, methodology that etfs is uh, being followed uh, okay so now what we will do we will see what is the difference between the uh, methodology that ETFs is uh, following and uh, uh, and uh, what our code actually saying about it. Okay, so as I have written earlier that the formula or you can say to find out the effective width of the uh, you can say a joint the formula that ETFs is uh, using is these two VC uh, or BB plus 0.5 HC or minimum of bb or bc plus 0.5 hc so in two conditions where vc is greater than bb or bbc is less than bb correct now if you go to our code which is is 1392.16 the latest one and here you can see it is the amendment of this particular code and if i go to the clause 9.1.1 yeah here so this is the clause 9.1.1 and then 9.1.3 for width of beam column joint and here you can see this images will give you the clear uh, view actually so here we have a different let me just uh, remove all this so that we can write it here okay so here we are getting a very different formula that our code is mentioning actually so our code is saying that the width of the joint bj here a bit different nomenclature so please do not get confused is equal to bb that means the width of the beam plus hc that means the depth of the column okay perpendicular to that dimension when the force is coming from this direction correct or or bj equal to bb plus 2x which what is x x is nothing but this projections so this width of beam okay plus this projection that means nothing but you can see it is nothing but the bc width of the column so this one so among these two whichever is less will be among these two whichever is less you will be considering that as the width of the uh, you can say joint but etfs is considering a bit different uh, method so uh, as as we have already discussed let me just go back let me just show you what we have written earlier actually sorry so what etfs is doing etfs is taking minimum of bc or bb plus 0.5 hc or minimum of bb or bc plus 0.5 hc okay in two conditions this is for bc greater than bb and this is for bb greater than bc okay or we can say bc is less than bb now if you see this one bb plus hc we have one thing here mean so th this is only saying one condition not these two conditions okay so it is saying only this condition minimum of bc this bj bb plus 2x is nothing but bc okay or bb plus hc here but here it is saying 0.5 hc okay and another condition it is adding for when the width of the beam is greater than width of the column so here in our code it is not given because uh, uh, you can say most of the cases we will be getting that width of the beam is less than the width of the column that is our code also recommend 
okay so that's why this particular clause is not given but if you have such condition you can use this actually right so here the difference between these two is only this 0.5 hc okay this the difference between these two is only nothing but the 0.5 hc so now if i go to the i have a document uh, let me just open it so this page number if i see 44 okay i will come to the 44 later so this is you can see it is an explanatory example for ductile detailing of rc buildings okay it is not uh, as per is 1916 it is as per is 1993 i guess right the older one so in this example actually as we have seen in the page number 44 let me just open the page number 44 I was just taking this calculation and here if you see this effective width which is calculated is using this formula bj equal to bb plus 0.5 h or bc okay so minimum of these two will be considered so here this 0.5 is considered but it is clearly written that uh, this calculation is based on the draft revision of is 1920 1993 that means when the 2016 i think the 2016 is coming so that a draft is being made for for this the for the revision and as per the draft this 0.5 was there so most probably this calculation is taken from uh, the aci code i have not checked i have to check it you can also check whether this calculation is as per aci code or not because uh, uh, most of our provisions are being copied from those uh, you can say uh, uh aci standards so maybe that is uh, being provided or you can say taken from there so ETF is following the same process but our code has uh, modified this and they have removed this 0.5 here okay so this is i don't think it is wrong that ETFs is doing okay but uh, if you check as per code obviously uh, it is not as per the code there will be difference in the results if you do as per code and as uh, uh, if you see the result in ETFs. okay so this is a small difference uh, between uh, the code and the ETFs calculation that we are we can see here actually okay so i hope this joint capacity calculation uh, is clear to all of you how we have done it in the three sessions so if you have any doubt again you can uh, write me in the comment or write me in the chat box i will try to solve it as early as possible and uh, those who are watching this video and on youtube this is a lecture and this is a, uh, a lecture of our advanced ETFs course on rcc building you can have a look on that particular course you will find the link of our android app and ios app in the description so that you can download and you can uh, you can say check our different courses uh, this kind of detailed calculations we explain in all the courses actually okay so uh, thank you and see you in the next lecture